Hello everyone, my name is Breeze and welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B Team. Now in today's episode I plan to do something a little different. Well, not really different, it's something with the mod pack, but it's with a separate mod pack. Um, wait, what am I talking about? No. Alright, I'm going to be doing a storage system. Basically, the room upstairs is pretty empty as you guys know. Uh, as you see, there's nothing here. And I can't fly because I'm not in bat form. Uh, and this was going to be our main storage area, and it still is going to be. I I want, but I want to set up a system where I don't have to keep flying up here, looking into the fight, looking into the chest, saying, "Oh look, I want uh, some clay." Um, and if I can't find it up here, I'll have to search through every single chest that we're going to have up here. So what we're going to be doing is actually setting up a system where we can call the items down to us. Which is why this little area has been cleared out here, because this is going to be like my main crafting area. Unfortunately, it's not a one, it can't be um, a one wide, because this room isn't actually an odd number, it's an even number, which I don't normally like working with, but in this case, I do. And normally, <laughs> hey, and someone always seems to come online when I start recording. But before we do that, I'm going to be making one of these guys, a deep storage unit. Um, the way we make this is like this. We need plastic sheets, ender pearls, eye of enders, and a fra factory machine, which we, which I actually have all of them in my inventory, so we're going to make one of these. And we actually get four, which is awesome. Now, the reason I am making these guys is because of the tree farm. Uh, one second. Is, yeah, that's recording. That's good. Okay, just checking. Um, the reason I'm making this is because it's because of the tree farm. Uh, as you can see, we've got a lot of charcoal. That's because I've actually... Did I turn this off? No, it's still on. I let I turned this off for a little while. As you can see, our items are actually getting backed up into the system because this chest is actually full. It can't take any more oak wood and it can, it's only taking rubber wood at the moment. And if we go up here, we can check this chest. I think this one is almost full. Uh, you can see the pipes are all backed up. Yeah, this one is pretty much almost full. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be replacing them with one of these. Now, um, with this system, I will have a bit of a problem. Because this is actually taking two different types of wood, and these only hold one item, one type of item. So as you can see, uh, oak wood is our priority because it's quite a huge amount there. But what I will do is I'll set up Actually, no, I will leave that chest up there for just the rubber wood, and this one can be replaced with one of these for all the um, oak wood. So what I need to do is I need to stop this from... Actually, yeah, and as, as you can see, I've also disconnected the tree farm because we're kind of overflowing. But as soon as this is set up, I will reconnect it. Um, oh yeah, and I've also made a second redstone furnace for this, just to speed up the process. But unfortunately, the tree farm was a lot faster than these guys because, as you can see, it's tick. It's going really fast, but it's not going fast enough to keep up with this. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to disconnect both of these for now. There we go. What I need to do is also demolish this chest to in re replace it with a deep storage unit. So this is going to make a lot of mess and might cause a bit of lag on the server. Let's quickly see if that's connected, which it has, and oak should start going in there, and it is which is pretty awesome um, let me just store this lot in there there we go there we go rubber wood, uh, rubber wood we're going to have to keep I might put all the rubber wood in this chest actually um, let's just take some of that store it in here wow look how much oak we've got <laughs> wow Oh god, someone's having FPS problems. That could be my fault. I do apologise if that is my fault. But I need to get this set up. Okay, is this all rubber? No, that's oak. So why are you not going in? Oh, it is. Never mind. Uh, rubber wood. Uh, I'm going to have it set up so all the rubber wood goes into this. Actually, no. The rubber wood will go upstairs. So we need to break you. There we go. And then we've just got to set this up so this guy takes out of there. Now, I need to set this up properly, so output, I need to move you, because we need to use you in a second. Let me out. There's too much wiring around here, and you need to, s oh, no, you need to switch. And s that, that's fine, that's all good, that should be fine, I just need to power this guy. And there we go. Now, it should start taking wood from both sides, which it is, but for some reason it's... 
Hmm, that's a bit strange. It's working, it's just trying to take... Pa- yeah, okay, that's fine. It's trying to take them out, and then it's got nowhere to put them. As you can see, it's all backing up. Hmm, I'm actually turn these pipes off for now, just until this guy has finished. Actually, no, we'll leave them on. We'll leave it on for now. And then we'll go back to doing what we were supposed to be doing. And I'm actually going to connect this guy back up again. There we go. Let's quickly go check up here. Check our oak and rubber wood situation. There we go. It should all be draining out now, which is good. Now, I should really turn this into a single chest because it's just going to take from the top half, as we explained, as I explained in the last episode. Actually, mm, no, that's fine. And we are getting a healthy supply of apples, which is nice. And a lot of rubber. This is what we're mainly after, the rubber. Every For every one rubber tree this guy collects, uh, we get a single piece of rubber. Which is awesome. So now I'm going to go head off and do what we were going to be doing in this episode. And I, but first I need to store this rubber wood in this chest. And sorry about the cars. As usual. They're always making a lot of noise. So the oak is going to pass through here and... Okay, that was weird. It's the tree. I can hear something in my headphones. <laughs> um, the oak is going to pass through here and uh, not disturb any of this rubber wood, hopefully. And everyone's joining the server. Woohoo! And I'm going to actually disconnect you. There we go. Um, actually, should I... No, let's keep that how it was. Uh, item duct, servo... Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Where's my wrench? It's a chest, there it is. Uh, plop the chest down, plop that down, and then put you back in there, and then have, uh, come on, ah, oh, right, there we go, got one, okay, I actually got five, so what I need to do is put this in there, and then one of those, so now both pipes will take in ro oak and rubber, but the rubber will be put into a different location, hopefully, um, I will set that up so all the rubber goes into another location as soon as it starts getting filled up. But I will do that later on. And let's quickly go check on the situation. I do need to put another platform there. I did try and collect some wool, but there's not enough sheep on the server. I don't seem to be able to find any. And I do have a bit of an issue with this lot at the moment. Overflowing, as you can see. So that's why I've been turning this guy off. Actually, isn't there a way I can make... Nah, I'm not going to. I'm just going to turn it off when it starts to overflow but then that, that means this guy will overflow Ugh, it's too confusing let's have a look 4,000 in there at the moment so if we ever need some oak wood we're good but anyway I'm going to go set up for what we were doing for today's episode which is mainly in this chest uh, which is lagging there we go now what we need is a bunch of dies and if I type in at uh, project actually it's just proj red and then do this symbol with transport. Oh, there we go. This is what we're going to be working on today. The uh, ro uh, routed pipes. We need some of these chips as well. But we need to first make a bunch of these. Uh, we do have some because I accidentally made them in a previous episode. So we've got 32 here. And what we need is some smooth stone and some glass. Uh, we have some cobblestone but not smooth stone. So what I'm going to do is leave this lot to smelt in the redstone furnace. Uh, there we go. What I'm actually going to do is make a quick hopper because we could just store everything in a chest. I think it's five plus a chest. Sounds about right. Let's quickly store you guys in there. Store you in there. Oh, I need one of those. Make our hopper. So it's one, two, two, and boop. There we go. Item hopper. I actually need that other chest back. So if you can come here. What I'll do is put you like that, put the chest on top, and then store all the stone in there. It should start to just filter into there, and once this fills up, we'll collect it. Anyway, so what we need to do is we make, need to make a bunch of these different pipes. The main ones we need are the junction pipe, the interface pipe, the request pipe, and I think, yeah, that's about it for now, and we need a bunch of these chips, but we won't worry about these just yet. Uh, but we want to get these pipes sorted out. So junction pipe is made like this. We need alumina, which is made with a green a dye and glowstone. So off camera, before the episode started, 
I went to the nether and collected a lot of glowstone, as you can see here. And how much do we need on average? So we need four, uh, no, two per aluma. So one, two, three, four. Uh, don't need any there. Don't need any there. Wow. Actually, we do need some there because we need to make the a lot of the junction pipes. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to make a shed ton of these. Uh, I'm going to grab... Let's just grab all this for now. Put it in the chest downstairs. Here we go. Just store that in there. It doesn't matter about any that doesn't go in. We are just going to end up making it anyway. So green and red first. So grab some of the red. Grab some of the green. Uh, we can actually make this in our crafting menu. Let's do half and half. Oh, no. Can't do that. Ah, can't do that either. There we go. So let's just do... That only made 10. Wow. We might need some more green. Let's just grab the green and just do this. There we go. Put that back in there. Make some of the red. Don't actually think we need that much. Um, diamond, redstone and some glass. A uh, glass pane actually. So we need to make some of those. Let's just grab six of that. Uh, diamonds, 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 diamonds. They're all... Oh, no. Oh, let's put that back. Uh, grab a couple... Let's just grab, say, half of that. That's fine. So what do we need? Have we got everything? We need to make the glass pane, which I can't click on. Let's just do this. There we go. Uh, then go... Boop. No, what am I missing? Redstone. We need some more redstone. There's always something... Let's grab a stack of that. Now, hopefully, this system all works perfectly well. Um, let's just turn them all into that. So we got a stack and a half, which is nice. And we need one of these guys. So redstone and some more diamonds. We have enough on us by the looks of it. We only need oh, we only need one of these. So that's fine. Collect everything out of there, and we need some of these interface pipes, which is golden nuggets. <sighs> uh, we have eight golden nuggets, but we're gonna need. Some, we're probably gonna need some more, so I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of golden nuggets. But I don't think we needed that many. Um, how many of these do we need? We need one of these per chest, and plus we're gonna have a chest down here. Uh, let's say. Let's just do. How many will it let us do? Actually, we need to go on the crafting bench first. 11. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's just do all 11 for now. So we sh probably should make some more of these, actually. So what are we missing? The redstone. Perfect. Let's just grab two stacks. Did I grab two stacks? Yes, I did. Awesome. Uh, that should be enough for now. We don't need any more of these. Uh, that's pretty much it for the piping. So what I'm going to quickly go do, I'm going to link, I'm going to set up the pipes. Uh, I'm going to have the, a chest here. Oh, actually, can I place a chest now with that? Oh, one thing I want to show you actually. Um, I think it was, yeah, Grizz, Grizzly came along, gave me some hamburgers, and he also supplied me with some of this dye. So I do thank him for that. Uh, stop flashing, please. Oh, you're running out, so I'm going to quickly turn you back on. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to see you guys in a second. I'm just going to lay down these pipes. Uh, these pipe... Well, yeah, I'll just lay it down and I'll come back and show you what I've done. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, there we go. Now, all of this is now linked up. As you can see, we have our request pipe here with a bunch of item transport pipes. Now, down here, I have had to put the junction pipe because... Oh, no, it's down here and up there. Okay, this goes up behind my portal and then comes up here. And goes back. Oh my god. That's going to confuse me. Goes back down there. As you can see, that little blue pipe right at the end. That is the uh, junction pipe, which is used for every junction. So this would... One second. This would count as a junction. As you can see, these are all lit up. So now they're all connected. Um, these pipes actually go outside the house. Well, no. I'll show you, actually. Let's go. Let's-a go. And all it all links to this chest at the moment. 
But first, I want to show you what goes on up here. As you can see, we've got these pipes going up, which don't look too pretty. But I have built a diamond saw, which we can use to chop up the bricks and make them into micro blocks. Now, I believe these guys work, these pipes work with micro blocks. So hopefully that will work. But what, I've got, what I quickly need to do is sort out my inventory. As you can see, it's a bit clustered. So I'm going to shove these in there. I'm going to put the glowstone in here for now. Actually, no, I can't because it's full. I'm just going to shove you guys in here. Uh, that's pretty much everything. Um, the next part we need to do is make some of these chips. Uh, I know which ones we need to make. Hopefully, I have I remember them all. Um, but yeah, but first we need to do this stuff with the micro blocks. So what you need to do, grab a saw, grab your blocks, and then turn them into slabs. Now we need covers. So I'm going to turn all those into them, and then all those into them, and then there we go, cobblestone covers. And then we'll do the same with this slot, and there we go. We actually got more than we need, hopefully. Now unfortunately that diamond saw does have a durability, so it won't, probably, will, probably won't last too long. Now if we... yeah, there we go, sweet. There we go. Now it doesn't look too bad. It does look a bit iffy, but that's okay. There's something we'll have to live with. And just place these like this. There we go. It, see, it does look a little bit different, but I don't really mind that. But per well, personally, I don't mind it. But you guys probably do. You probably like, change it back. And we need to head outside and do the same on the opposite. Let me ah, let me through. Thank you. We need, to do, we need to do the same on this. And as you can see, this system, this little setup, uh, all these purple pipes are linked in with chests. Every chest you have needs to have one of these guys set up to it. So I will need to do that in a little bit for the chest downstairs. But once... Oh, no. I don't want you to go there. On these window parts, you can go there. So, boop, boop. so it doesn't actually look like there's anything there. There we go. Just... I'll, I'll quickly do this off camera, then I'll come back to you guys. <laughs> don't want to get you, don't want you guys to be too bored. I'm going to use that as a platform. There you go. So yeah, I'll be back in a second once this entire back wall is covered up. Okay, there we go. The entire back wall is covered. You could definitely tell where the covers are because they are, are a lighter shade of grey. But that doesn't really matter. The inside is done as well. And I haven't covered this bit up because we need the chests to go here. So that won't need to be covered up at all. Let's quickly fall down into a hole. And what I also need to do is change this pipe for a, pro a purple one. There we go, so now that's connected. But first, before we can actually do anything with this, because as you can see, nothing happens, uh, we need to set up one of, a broad we need a bunch of broadcaster chips, so these chests will connect with the request pipe, which is this. But as you can see, there's nothing in it. That is because none of our chests have a request pipe, but we do need to make those, we need, Magenta, Illumina, Redstone, and we need a no logic routing chip, which is made in this fashion. Paper, Redstone, and Golden Nuggets. Hopefully we have enough. Uh, I did collect some sugarcane earlier, so we should be fine. Sugarcane is actually on us right now. Grab a stack of those. Um, that's like, we need to make quite a few of these guys, so we're probably gonna need, oh, probably going to need to make a bunch of them. Let's just turn, can't we do that? Do we have everything? Oh wait, we need the nuggets, okay. Turn those into nuggets and then go boop, boop. There we go, 13, that'd be perfect. Uh, we sh Hopefully, we will at the moment, we won't need any more than that. But we need to make some of this orange alumina, which is made with glowstone, obviously. <laughs> Playing obviously like you guys will know. Uh, some glowstone. Um, okay, yeah. The rest of the glowstone is in here. or well, not here, in this chest up here. So we need some um, orange dye. Do we, how much orange do we have? Not a lot, actually. So we might need to go collect some more. I'll probably do that off camera. Or we can make some out of this, this stuff here. There we go. Some more orange. Uh, so what we need to do, do this, do this. Uh, five. We need four. Yeah, four per responder chip. Uh, so we're going to need a bit more orange. I'll probably go off camera and collect that. I'll set up the first chest for now and then I'll do the rest off camera. But first, uh, what we need to do is get this guy out. Uh, can we make this now? No, we need some iron. So I'm going to grab this. Uh, I'm just going to grab all that iron. 
and then go boop, shift, shift, click. There we go. So now we have a responder chip. Now, if you're wondering what this responder chip does, it basically is a chest filter. Uh, if we can head upstairs quickly, I need to remove that block. We head up here. I haven't actually used that door for a while. If we head up to one of these chests, which is here, and um, we can actually link this into one of these pipes. So this chest will only take that object. So what I'm going to do, actually, let's use it on this one because this one has a couple items in it. So cobblestone dirt. Uh, we have some more of that. Um, let's just use it for cobblestone dirt. So if we hit this filter mode then put a piece of cobblestone in there and a piece of dirt in there. And then have that set to whitelisted. We can put this in there. And as, if we right click, you can see the chip is in there with cobbles, with the filter mode as cobblestone and dirt. So this chest will only accept those items. So what I need to do now is make a broadcaster trip, chip. Sorry. Actually, no, wait. It's not that yet. It's the extractor chip. So we need some, we need another null logic and a cyan luminar. Now, hopefully we have enough to make cyan. How do you actually make cyan? I'm going to flick over. Uh, blue and green. Okay, we don't have any green. Great. <laughs> God damn. Uh, do we have any way to make green? Oh, we have some green uh, green alumina here. But we don't need green. We need cyan. Oh, bum. Wait, do we not have any cyan? Light blue. Cyan. cyan. Oh, perfect. So I'm going to make some cyan, let's quickly make some of this stuff for, let's just make one of each for now, I'll make the rest off camera as I've already said. So do we have everything, everything we need? Iron, redstone, yes we should have everything we need, so shift click, there we go, we have one of those. Now an extraction, I think, um, I think the extraction chip actually goes in here, oh wait. Do we need to do anything with this? No. So it should just pop in there. There we go. So if we actually... Oh, let me up. There we go. If we put some... Um, oh, what the... <laughs> I wonder what that was for a second there. Uh, I believe this should work. Hmm. I might need to go off camera for a little bit just to see if I can get this to work. Or I might have to finish this in the next episode because I am running really short on time. Uh, plus I have to upload another UHC today. So, yes, I might actually just finish... Actually, no, I'm going to make this broadcaster chip first and then I'm going to end off the episode. So we need some purple, magenta. Uh, let's just do it this way. Boop. One, two, three, four. Didn't actually mean to make that many, but oh well. Uh, we need some gold for this, guys. So let's go over here. Over here. Grab a golden nugget. But we can't because we've run out of space. Let's just shove you in there because we don't need iron for this one. Uh, broadcaster chip. There we go. Now the broadcaster chip, as I've said, let's actually head upstairs. <laughs> This, got, this will all be set up by next episode, so don't worry. I will have all this done, hopefully, by next episode. Let's uh, set it up with this guy. Here we go. Let's put you in there. And if we... Uh, where does it... It needs to go there. Oh, no. Um, blacklist. Uh, should be able to keep this guy how it is. So let's... There we go. It didn't want to go in for some reason. So there we go. We have a broadcaster chip in there. And if we head downstairs to the, um, to this pipe, we should see, yeah, all the dirt and cobblestone we have. Everything in that chest is showing up in here, which is perfect. That means this system is working. Um, and if we actually, I'm going to request 10 pieces of dirt for no apparent reason. So press submit, sub successfully requested, and it should come up the pipe and just pop out of here. Hopefully. Or does it go in the chest? No. Sorry about that. Taking its time. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there we go. There's two pieces. 
We, there is a way to make this go faster. We do need to make this start, this thing, but we don't have any emeralds at the current time. So that'll have to wait until, there we go, 10 pieces of dirt. All the dirt will go in there. Sometimes stuff will go in here, but it's good if, I might actually unlink this. I might have to move this chest just so, just so it doesn't go in there. I'll just raise it up a little bit. But yeah, unfortunately I am running out of time today, guys. So if you did, there we go. If you did enjoy this episode and would like to see some more, please do hit that like button and subscribe. And also a big, big thank you to 85 subscribers. Hit that today just as I came online this morning. I checked my YouTube. Obviously, I check it every day. Check all the messages you guys are sending me. And I hit 85 subscribers. So thank you so much. We're hitting, we're getting closer and closer to that 100 mark, which is awesome. So thank you so much for all your support. And thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.